Okay, as you all know, a larger and larger part of the Hobby Center's business is derived from helping people with estates, uh, things that are left over when people pass on, or even when somebody decides to get out of the hobby and they don't want to have their stuff anymore. Now, the best way, in my opinion, to deal with this is to take it to your local hobby shop and see what they'll do for you. Some people do consignment, some people outright buy, some do a mix. It depends here on how expensive the items are, what the rarity scarcity of them is, you know, basically how much would they sell for would kind of determine what kind of a structure we're gonna do. In many cases, we're talking a lot of bulk things like a ton of kits or a, a ton of trains or whatever, and we like to buy it all bulk and then we sort it out. Yes, we will make money doing this, but there is a lot of work in the evaluating, the sorting, the marketing. I mean, if you've ever done it for yourself, you know what's involved, so. You know, don't begrudge us a few dollars for doing all the work and you just collect the money. But anyways, uh, just recently we got a collection, we were offered a collection of slot cars. Now we are a general hobby store, we've dabbled in just about everything over the last 35 years. Uh, currently we have a little bit of Ski Electrics 132 slot cars, uh, mostly analog stuff. Um, we find it's not a big market for us. I mean, people that are into it are really into it. They really, you know, as in all hobbies, if you're passionate about your hobby, there's no end to your enjoyment and how far you would go with your hobby. So these cars seem to date back to the era of uh, HO scale racing. We're talking AFX, Tyco, things like that. Now, the last time I had an HO set in here it was probably when Lifelike was still doing them in Canada out of Toronto. So that's got to be at least 20 years ago, and it was definitely in our former location. So it's been a long time since we've really done much with uh, the HL scale slot cars. Now, as a kid growing up, we had AFX, we had G Plus, Magna Traction, uh, we had a bit of Tyco, we had you know the, the the big tractor trailer rigs, and we had the Formula cars that would fly off the track and they burn your hands. They get so hot. I'm thinking that's more along the lines of what we're going to find in here. So what I've decided today, before we really go at this stuff, is I would have a box reveal. I would show you while I find out what we got here to deal with. So bear with me, we'll take a look at what's in these boxes. So, box number one says personal cars in storage boxes. Okay. So we got nifty little plastic boxes here. I kind of remember something like this. You kept your car, you kept your pickup shoes and different parts in it and whatnot. That one's empty. This one has a Jaguar on the box. Made by Majorette. Sure. Make it childproof so I can't get it. These are actually, these are little, uh, little uh, dinky cars, 64 scale die casts. No, 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 no. I, I digress. Those are slot cars. Use slot cars. There's a Superbird. Oh, yeah. So a whole bunch of interesting, yeah, there's a uh, rescue ambulance. This is a, this looks like a Hummer, but I don't think it is. So these are in various states. We'll have to go through these and see if there's any of uh, exceeding rarity and check out the condition. Maybe we'll have to set up a little uh, testing track here and try them out, see what they do. There's a couple, I remember those, the old glow-in-the-dark cars, a couple of Corvettes. Again, we'll have to check them over. Just several, you know, substantial amount of boxes of these things here. Slot cars, street cars, racing cars. There's a Miller. Miller car. So, it's really cool stuff. If you're into this stuff, I know. There's a matchbox carry case, man. <laughs> Even the case for this one kind of takes you back. Oh, Lord. Man, it's just full of slot cars. I mean, some of them are like, there's heavy tarnish on those pickup shoes. You can see on the bottom there if it'll focus on it. Quite a bit of wear and tarnish on those pickup shoes. But there's a Harley Davidson motorcycle in here. There's a bunch of Formula cars. The Elf Six Wheeler, man. That's the G Plus car with the foamy kind of tires. We had that when we were a kid. This thing went like stink, man. This this thing really moved around the track. It's like a 
can am can am racer. So man, we just we're just talking cases and cases. There's at least three or four more of these red ones, and there's another uh, another vinyl case. Looks like something that came out of a Walmart or something. It's got a pre-printed price tag. Rough and tough. Take a long car case. Oh, there we are. More loose slot cars. So they probably see these in a display case in the store for sale. We'll check them, make sure they work or not. Then we'll put a price per on them. And we'll have them out for general sale. So if you're into this stuff, stay tuned. I'll put it in one of our weekly uh, e-newsletters. Now, if you're not already subscribed to it, please follow the link at the bottom of this video and consider signing up. We send out an, uh, an e-newsletter every week and it kind of tells you what's new, uh, what's happened in the store, anything major we've acquired, like this collection would be mentioned, plus all our new uh, stock releases, uh, restocks, things we may have been missing for a while. So please consider signing up to our e-newsletter. Look at that. Okay. This box says personal parts and stuff. Plastic bag, lots of car bodies, etc. So this is looking like a plethora of tires, parts, gears, rims. Uh, there's some there's some slot car, AFX slot cars in their little boxes from display case. Sun damage, but all new chassis. So there you go. I see a bunch of bodies, different bodies. Again, if you're into this stuff, this is a treasure. Okay. This one says, tune-up kits. Various package parts, decals, bodies, etc. Ah, well, there you go. Every good racetrack room should have a sign-up for enthusiasts. And my word, we've got file folders. I don't know if you can see them on their decals. Sponsor decals, racing decals, electro sets. Yeah, and we got more bodies, bags of bodies, more bodies. Microsport racing graphics. I guess it's going to take us a while to get through. I won't lie to you. On top of everything else we do around here, we got tune up kits, AFX tune up kits, kits and pieces, Tyco parts. I mean, I don't even know if Tyco's still in business. I, as far as I know, it's been years since they've been made. So if you got Tyco cars, we might add the parts for you. Oh yeah. And then if I tip this up, you can see it from the top down view. Just gobs and gobs of wheels and parts and bodies and things and stuff. So this will probably be the last stuff. You know, we'll probably get the the newer stuff, the package stuff, you know. It looks like it came out of a store. Well, it recently came out of a store. We'll get that done first. Some special cars, old in package. Okay, Let's see what this is about. Oh yeah, AFX speed shifter car. Mint in the card. Ooh, AFX collector series. That's a good looking Cobra Daytona. Mint in package. There's another Terrell six wheeler. Looks like it's been used. We got boxes, we got cars, older cars in the package. There's a Magna Traction, police van. Probably you got the lights that work on them. Some Indy racers. I remember these old school packages. Used to buy the cars like that. That's a G Plus racer. In fact, with that, yeah, that's the Marlboro Texaco, kind of glow in the dark yellow. We used to race this one against the Terrell six-wheeler on our track at home. Man, they went fast. Whoa. Maybe you picked them up, they were so hot you couldn't hold on to them. Look at this. Remember I mentioned tractor-trailer rigs? She got a couple of used tractor-trailer rigs in there too. We used to play with those. There is a lot of cool, fun stuff in there. All right. That's another box we had to peek through. one says I put these cars in the boxes from the display case so these I guess were out loose she's tried to marry them up in the proper boxes 
I see a lot of Can-Am cars, Jaguars. This gentleman was big on Jaguars. We did some die casts previously from these folks, and uh, there was a lot of racing Jags in there. He had a thing. Camel race car. This is good stuff. This is really neat. Like I say, if you're into HO scale racing, this is, this is a gold mine. Okay, we got one more box to look through. The biggest one. Saved it for last. One. Sorry about that. I think my last memory card just filled up as I was getting into it. Now, like I was saying, there's, there's a box here, and on the top it says she believes these cars are all new and packaged. Some of the packages might have been altered for shipping. She said there's stuff in here from France, Britain, Australia, U.S., Canada, all over the place. This guy was an enthusiast. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. So we open her up. <laughs> this is your first look. Slot cars. Lots of slot cars. In the packages. There's another one of those. Looks like a Jaguar. He likes Jaguars. Formula One car. Tyco. Tyco. That's a Kmart Indy car. Still new in the blister package. Sealed blister. Tyco car. Texas Marlboro. And just cars after cars after cars. Min on card. So this will probably be the stuff we get online first. We'll probably be in our eBay store. If you're not familiar, we've been selling on eBay since 1999. It was originally our whole online marketing strategy until we got our website developed. So we've been selling stuff on there for 22 years roughly. And uh, anything of rarity, scarcity, you know, and especially trying to get the most money for us, which is, means the most money for our clients, we go in there to see what things are actually selling for. And not what people are asking for the money, be what they're actually sold for. Okay, there's a difference. There's a racing truck. So if you're interested in checking these things out on our eBay store, you don't have to buy them off eBay. You can buy them through the store. You find them there, you let us know what you want, we work it out, okay? But it's a way to get it out in front of more people. More people hit eBay than anything else, still, to this day. If you're going to market stuff, eBay is the way to go. They charge a big buck for what they do, but they are the best at it. If you want to find us, uh, our username is MrBill15, or you can find a link to our eBay store from our website, which is Hobson.com. You'll see links at the end of the video. More cars. There's some old catalogs and liturgy. Be interesting to a fan. More. Look at Mint on card. Mint on card. More of these Tyco cars. Turbo cars. Stock car. These are these package type. This is called Super G Plus. And just more and more. This box. Well, you can see how big this box is. And I'm just down in the top, you know, quarter maybe. What's that, a Benetton racing car? Nine colors of Benetton? It's like another Porsche possibly, or Jag I should say. Mercedes. Stock cars. There's one part in the package so you can see what it looks like. Same thing. Then I'm down here at the bottom, packed nicely, front to back. Oh my. Pairs. Double sets. Double set. There's Mr. Petty. Earnhardt. With the truck. That's kind of cool. I don't think the truck's really in scale of the car, but hey. There you are. Indy cars. All mint in package. There's a pair of Mr. Petty's cars. More slot. Stock cars. Slot car, stock cars. Kellogg's. So as you can see, there's just more and more and more and more of this stuff. It's going to take us a while to get through this. Super G Plus. Okay. I'm going to cut it here. I mean, I could be here all day showing you all these cars. So again, 
this kind of stuff will be on our eBay store as fast as we can get it up, research and get it up. Uh, follow the link from our website. And as we progress with things, or we come up with new ideas or new things we find, please consider subscribing to our e-newsletter. Links are at the bottom of the screen after it. Thank you very much for watching. We're kind of excited about all this stuff. I hope you made you a little bit excited watching this with me. Thank you.